happy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hello, my friends. Good afternoon. It is time for another Stephanie's Crafting Corner. Oh, what's it called? What is it called? Crafting Corner? I never remember. I never remember. It's like my children's names. You forget them all the time, right? Well, lots of updates around here. First of all, uh, we have new lights in here. And oh, Ken, remind me not to look at them because I just started looking at them and they like blinded me. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. We're going to have to figure out. Stephanie's going to remember. have to remember not to look at them. And I'm just trying to find my uh, live um, information here because, again, it's not showing me that I'm going live. I, I, Kenny, I never can figure out why this does this to me. Oh, see, see, now it's playing something oh, else. Delay. It's called delay. I know, but I know, <laughs> I know it's a delay for them, but I'm just saying that I don't see, I still don't see it. Hang on. Let me try refreshing it. Oh, there it is. Okay. See, I have to refresh it. Oh, now I got to turn it down. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. My friends. Hello. There you are. Now I can see your chats. So, oh, Michelle said, Ken, absolutely love the freebies. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, hi, Lisa from Delaware. Hi, Danielle. Uh, love the gifts, Pam said. Awesome. Kathy from Virginia is checking in. Uh, let's see. So, let's oh, lots of updates. Again, those lights are like, whoa, we're going to figure that out. But let me see all the updates. Number one, the best update in the world, at least for me, is my babies are coming over today. I got to see them on Tuesday and we're, we're, Kirsten and I are trying to figure out her schedule because her husband goes back to work on Tuesday. And now we're just trying to decide how I'm gonna be able to help her. And uh, twins are just a lot different than ones. Singleton. They call them singletons. I'm learning all this language now. And I have to stop saying two twins because there's no such thing. What do you mean two twins? That's like saying two, two, you know, so I have to say we have twins, not two twins. Oh, but uh, so I got to see the babies on Tuesday and they're going to come over here on Thursday. Today's Thursday. They're coming over today. And so literally, I think Kirsten and Colin are going to hand us the babies and then they're, they're just going to like Colin and Kirsten are just going to go for a walk. They're just going to like kind of just like decompress a little bit, which is really good. And on Tuesdays when I go, which is really nice, uh, what I do is I say, okay, I get the babies situated and everything and I make sure Kirsten eats lunch and then I get everything situated and they say, okay, go upstairs and go take a nap. Go. Go oh, two hours. I don't want you to come back for two hours. <laughs> and that's nice because I sometimes the babies are sleeping. Sometimes I'm just playing with them. Whatever. I just need her to have some downtime as well. As we all know, being a new mommy, you just you just need to be yourself for a minute. So that's what my goal in, in my life now is to make sure she gets some sleep. Other than that, uh, Tammy, your husband Jack emailed me the other day and I just want to give a shout out to you and tell you that we're praying for you and a healthy recovery and uh, you have an awesome husband let me tell you because it was the sweetest email he ever I one of the sweetest emails I've ever gotten from a husband which is really sweet so tell your husband he's awesome and I hope you feel better soon okay but at least you get to watch the video still right at least that's that's better than nothing right and it's funny because a lot of people will say, oh, you know what, um, I, I had this health issue or I had that health issue and I wasn't able to craft, but I still watched your videos. And let me tell you guys, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this and I know it's inappropriate for me to say, but I'm pretty funny. I really actually am. <laughs> Because sometimes even I will, like Ken will be editing the video and I'll hear myself say something and I laugh because it's funny. So it's kind of like really awesome that I can say or do something that will make you laugh at home because uh, it, it's all about, we just have to have fun, right? Crafting is all about fun. There's no stress, no nothing. Uh, it's just all good, clean fun. And it's legal, which is good, you know? And just, let's just have some fun. And if I'm able to make you smile or laugh in your day, my job is done. And I, I mean, I Ken and I have talked about it all the time. Our, our company is built on Obviously, we always say a prayer and a dare because, and if you haven't seen that video, we got to find it and, and post it. But uh, we started our company on a prayer and a dare. I'll just talk about this for a second. And uh, my uncle, our uncle Ken, which is weird that we have an uncle Ken, uh, dared us to start our own company. And Ken and I went home that day. And I don't know, Kenny, if it was that day or the, a week or so later after we decided we wanted to start a company, we sat down and prayed a lot about it. We just said, Lord, we're going to give this company to you. We're going to do it in your name. We're, we're This is 
not for us. We'll just see what happens. And we've done, we've done fine. Ken got to leave UPS after 25 years. He works for us, our company full time, and it's been able to support us. And, and that's just awesome. So how did I even get on on this tangent? Uh, Oh gosh, I don't remember. Video. Oh, the video. Oh yeah. So go watch that video if you want to see the um, updates of all, I mean, the reason behind all of that. But I even have a sign in my kitchen that somebody made for me that I had somebody make for me. And it says a dare and a prayer because that's how we started the company. Our uncle dared us and we prayed a lot about it. And, uh, but I still think there was another reason why I was talking about that. I don't remember. Anyway, I, once my mind starts going and my mouth starts going at different speeds, like my brain thinks at a different speed than my mouth, which is really not good because sometimes I get it out sooner or I get it out later and then the brain's over. Oh gosh, whatever. Who knows? Who knows? So the babies are coming over today. I already told you that. Oh, and Tammy, mwah, I love you. Now, look at this. Isn't this cute? Kenny's going to switch the camera so you can really see it. Now, Lisa made this for me. Oh, am I supposed to switch the camera? I'm sorry. I was, I'm supposed to switch. Do you want me to do it or do? Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. But he moved the button. So it's closer to me, but look at how cute this little guy is. And, uh, Lisa made this for me and she actually made, she's so sweet. Cause she, I, she's read, heard of my videos where I said, my mom loves teapots. And so she made one for our, for us, the stamps of life. But then she also made one for me to give to my mom, which was so sweet and it's a mini album and so my plan is I'm actually going to put pictures of the babies in here because I think well the one for my mom that's what I'm going to do because look she made all these cute little tags and things and the reason why I want this to have cute little um, pictures for my my mom is because then she can show her friends when she gets to see her friends again she gets to show her friends all the cute little pictures of the, oh look how cute that is of the um of the babies and then we can just have little pictures in here and little pictures in there and it, she did it on um chipboard she cut it die cut it on chipboard so this was a lot of work because she die cut it and covered them with two different colors on each page and decorated each one um so she used the teapot fold it the tea for two and more teas for us the tea stamps you are blessed guys she used a lot and i'm sure it's in our gallery by now but isn't that gorgeous and she made one for me and one for my mom so i could give it to my mom and i just i just want to say thank you lisa because it's awesome and i love it and it's beautiful and the colors are gorgeous too and that teapot is amazing i love it and it has the matching stamps and dies too did you notice that you guys so isn't that cute and she oh look how pretty okay so that is lisa thank you very much for that uh, I know lucky me everybody's saying lucky you I know I just feel awesome it's so awesome now I'm gonna switch this back and let me see um, that is just adorable adorable uh, uh, let's see wait what did what did Valerie say Stephanie remember that you and Ken and your kids are her babies too oh yes that's true that's true my whole family is her babies that's true uh, let's see oh and guess what my friends so as you know I know that we're still kind of like under lockdown but they're starting especially in California they're little tiny bit allowing you to like go outside now and so we are actually invited to my brother's house on saturday and we're pretty much just sticking to only family we're not like going out in the world yet but we're just sticking to families homes and we're just going to homes our family's homes and so far we're only going to kirsten's and brandon's huh we're not going to anybody else's house yeah and so that's not very much but my brother and my sister-in-law bought a new home and they've moved in and I get to see it finally. They bought it a long time ago because they rented back to the owners, the previous owners uh, for like 45 days or something. And, uh, but they finally got their house and they have a pool. I'm so excited. And it was funny because I hope my nephews aren't watching because Carter's birthday is coming up. And so I bought him a whole bunch of pool toys. I bought him a whole bunch of pool toys and I'm really excited about that because He's going to love them. Now, I don't think we're going swimming. We're not going swimming, Kenny. We're just going over to visit. I think it's just going for lunch. So it's going to be like a, hi, I wish I could hug you, but we're not going to hug just to make sure we're all, you know, healthy and we get to see the house and we're going to have a quick lunch and that'll be fun. It'll be great. So I'm really excited about that. Now, we, I actually have to make a uh, thank you card today because, listen to this, my friends. Okay, listen to this. This is how awesome some people in our lives are. You know, you just have those people. Well, a long time ago, Ken and Stephanie used to make their own stamps. So in the beginning, we did not. And then for how many years, Kenny, do you think we did create it? Six years or something? 
We did it for, we made stamps for six years. Oh my gosh. Really? Oh, that bites. For six years, he says, we made our own stamps. Now, I know you guys think, oh yeah, you just make your own stamps, you put them in the printer and you make them or something. Yeah, yeah, no. How many machines are required to make a stamp? Let me tell you, I'm gonna have to count in my head. So first you need the computer, one, then the negative, two, then the negative maker, three, then you need the exposure, four, then you need the wash five, then you need the squeegee thing six, then you need seven, and seven actually does two things. So, well, at least seven machines are needed to make one clear stamp. So to make this, seven machines are needed. That's not true because you have to make the label. That's eight, eight machines. Does that sound about right, Kenny? Are you counting in your head all the machines? He's not counting. He's like, don't remind me of the nightmare. Okay, so it was eight machines. Now our facility was 8,000 square feet. So that's gonna give you an idea. Now, when the resin, I totally did not think I was gonna talk about this today, but when the resin, because it's like a resin, that's what we called it, a resin. It's photopolymer, you know it is photopolymer, but it's a resin. When it is not cured, because this is cured, so it's like cooked, we call, I always called it cooked. Cooked is easier to say than cured. But uh, when it was cooked, it's a solid, right? But when you get it from the company that makes the resin, it's a liquid. Now, it's clear, but think of honey, okay? Think of taking the lid off your honey jar and pouring it. Think of how sticky it's gonna be, yeah. That's resin. Think about how if it's if you microwave, if you heat it up and it gets nice and warm, it the honey's just gonna run everywhere, right? Or if it's cold, you're not gonna get it out of the jar. Exactly like resin. Resin to make stamps is exactly like the consistency of honey. If it's too hot, it's gonna be too runny. If it's too cold, it's not gonna come out. It was incredible. We had to have, like, we had to have like a the, the, the warehouse part had to be wrapped in plastic because you had to keep the degrees. What was the degrees? 68 and 72? It was about, it had to stay, the temperature in the room at all times had to stay between 68 degrees and 72 degrees. Now, if you got to 67.5, not good. If you got to 72.1, not good. It literally had to stay, right? 70 was ideal. Let me tell you, my friends. In Southern California in the winter, not easy. In Southern California in the summer, not easy. Why did I even start talking about this? I don't even know why. These bring back bad memories for Ken because Ken used to make stamps and it is horribly awful to make. It is awful, it is awful. So we finally got rid of that. We found a good manufacturer that could make them to our standards, which are not easy to make them to our standards and we let them take it over. But let me tell you, you do not ever wanna make your own stamps. <laughs> just thinking about it makes me want to cry it was the most uh, that was one of the worst times I think in our the history of the stamps of life wouldn't you say one of the there's only two times that were bad that was one of them you guys all know the second one but okay craziness why did I even start talking about that I have no idea rambling rambling I wasn't talking about the smell of the stamps but imagine how that factory smelled. The manufacturing smelled so good. That was one of the good things. I have no reason why. Um, Belinda says she loves my outfits late, lately. Oh my gosh, Belinda, you're so sweet. This is a cute little top look. Can you see the little knot? It comes with an automatic knot. And it's just a t-shirt from Amazon. I think it was like $16. I don't shop, as you know. I just found this t-shirt on Amazon, 16 bucks. Because of the thank you card you're making? Oh, thank you. You guys, somebody reminded Ken why I was talking about the manufacturing. Okay, so I'm making a thank you card. Why am I making a thank you card? Because one of the companies we bought the clue, the, um, what did we buy from Doug? The wash stuff. We bought the wash stuff, which is not going to make any sense to you. Some chemicals, some wash stuff. And what else though? But it was the, um, what did we put in the post exposure unit? That stuff. We can't even remember now. We bought like two or three things from him. Okay. 
we bought a couple things to come close from him, not the resin, but something else. And he would come help us fix our machines because the machines, keep in mind, my friends, the machines are about, a couple of them were about the size of a small car. Uh, they're huge. I mean, they're massive. I mean, you could have a picnic on them, right? I mean, they're that large. And so Doug would come and help us and fix them. And, and he was always so nice to Ken and he lived locally. And so we would visit. Well, since then we've closed that all down since then, Ken and Doug have remained friends. And now his wife and I, Lori have become friends and it's been really fun. So we go out to dinner once in a while and, and it's nice cause he knows the industry a little, but not enough that we have to talk industry talk the whole time. And we just get to talk about our families and everything. Well, long story short, because <laughs> that's too late for that, but, she, they, um, Doug came over and said, can I just drop off a gift really quick? And they gave us some cute little outfits for the babies. And, and they said, welcome to the grandparents club. It's the best club in the world. It's cause they don't know about our club, but uh, well, okay. So grandparents club is just as awesome as the Stamps of Life club, but it was just really sweet. And so what I need to do is I need to make a thank you card for Doug and Lori. All of that just to tell you, I need to make a thank you card for Doug and Lori. Sorry about that. Whew. Okay. Remember for vote. Oh yes, and we're gonna do some voting today, my friends. So keep your fingers ready on that chat. Ken is following your chats. Um, I'm trying to check in every once in a while, but um, uh, Lynn said that we used to have to put the stamps on acetate sheets by hand. Sometimes we did, yes, yes. It, it, you know what, there's just so many things. You guys, it would blow your mind. It's funny because back in the day, we did do a video on how you make a stamp, but technically we can't ever show it to anyone. We realize because there's a lot of trade secrets involved. And, um, but I'm just telling you right now, you are more than insane if you think you can make stamps. Trust me, it was the worst decision. This is true. It's the worst decision I made in this company was to make my own stamps. That was the absolute only decision I regret for this company. Isn't that interesting, Kenny? Ken has nightmares about it still, let me tell you. He does, he doesn't even, he won't even look at me. He, he doesn't want to talk about it. But the good news is, is we've moved on. Now he doesn't even have to do the shipping. What do you do, sweetheart? Now you don't do the shipping, you don't make stamps. I'm just kidding, he does a lot. I send out free gifts. He sends out free gifts, he says. Well, that's sweet, that's very kind of you. Uh, so let's see, <laughs> got all that out and we're gonna do some voting, okay. What we're gonna do today is, oh, I don't even have the picture in here. I'm gonna make a circle flip it because I think Lori, I don't think Lori really crafts and I think it's gonna knock their socks off when I give them a flip it card. So I'm gonna use the circle flip it and I'm gonna open this up and of course mine doesn't show the cute picture you guys would have, but it does show all the extra pieces. Remember how I always talk about, here, let me show you. Remember how I always talk about I save all my extra pieces in the envelope they come in? because that way it's like, oh, I needed a green circle. Oh, I already got one cut out. So I just keep them in there. I do follow my own directions. See, there's a cute little extra flower, things like that. But what I am going to do is I'm also going to use, because I realized, which I don't know, I'm pretty sure it comes in it, but for some odd reason, I figured out, and trust me, you'd think I'd know this stuff, but let me tell you, I don't. There's a flower in this kit that also works in the cut them up pad. This flower is in here and that is very exciting. And I think the other flower might be in there too. Now don't quote me. If you don't have this, go check first before you buy it. But I'm pretty sure this is not, this came from this kit because there's the flower too. Whoops, there's an extra flower in there. See, bonus. But there's the flower too. It says large flower dice, but it looks like I used the same art, just saying, okay? So check that out. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this and the Spring Basics, do I have any Spring Basics in here? Spring Basic pa paper pads? I wanted to use Spring Basics. I used them last week. I, you thought I used it last week? When you did the ducky. Oh yeah, when I did the ducky. Oh, oh, I think this is it. I took the cover off. Yes. Okay, so I haven't decided if I'm gonna use this or the cut it up. I'm gonna use cut it up. Okay, so put that back. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first we are going to die cut our card base and I'm gonna lift this up. Now, a lot of you already have this die, so boom, you can like make this card if you want right now because you already have this die. And I'm going, oh, let's see what colors. Um, I love that I put the names on here so I can look and just go, oh, I want that one. Well, 
Hello, of course you know I'm gonna grab guava. Why would, why would you pick any other color? Um, so I'm gonna grab guava. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at what I've done. Hang on, I gotta show you this. So I've been working in my office and I've been organizing. That's one of the nice things about staying home is you start like getting things organized. And I've started organizing my paper and I have so far three of these. I'm just trying to get like from the office, like a handful of each one. Oh, and you guys had mentioned, have you done that yet, Kenny, where you did the new pe paper pad? I mean, the new, um, the new, uh, what am I trying to say? The cardstock pack three and pack four. Have you started working on that yet? We started packing them, but okay. we need some colors. Oh, so they're out of some colors, but eventually on the website, Four, five, and six. because you guys brought it up, and thank you, we need to hear your input. Um, we had cardstock packs one and two, and Ken is working on, now remember three we have to cancel because that number's dead now because those, car those colors were discontinued, but cardstock pad four, five, not pad, cardstock pack, four, five, and six. They are working on packing right now. So that's exciting. But look what I've done. So I've, and how come my strawberries, it's too tight. So I have to like kind of, I've moved them over as I go, but I love, I love rainbow color. So I try to keep it in rainbow color. So there's my guava. All that just to say that I'm starting to get organized. Okay, so guava. And then I'm going to, I have to get kiwi and I'm thinking sunshine. No, lemonade. Lemonade and sun, and lemonade and, see I love, I'm telling you guys, make sure you're utilizing this information. Because sometimes you go, oh I think that's, I thought that was um, a sunshine, but it's lemonade, and so I look, I go, oh yeah, it's lemonade. And then also kiwi, okay. So now I have my colors, and then you know also like, oh I don't have this color, I gotta order it. But on the computer screens, I'm sure you guys have noticed, on the computer screen, every computer screen is different. Every computer screen is different. Ken could have a computer screen here and here on the same computer and move the picture over and it'll look different. So computer screens are different. Don't ever go by your computer screen. You'll have to go in real life. So if it says that color, no, it's that color, okay? Even though if it might not look right on the website, it's the right one. Okay, so. Let's do a yellow base because I don't want it to be too girly because Doug is supposed to see it also. And I'm gonna do a hidden panel, okay, my friends? Because what is a hidden panel? A hidden panel opens up a special little section so you can write a longer message. And I wanna be able to write a longer message. So I'm gonna show you how to do a hidden panel. I'm going to grab my cutting pad and my machine's over here, so I'm just gonna grab a cutting pad. I'm gonna lay this down. I'm gonna lay my die down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a scoring tool. You could use a bone folder or you could use a um, die pick. You could use whatever, but this is the trick. This is the only part you have to think about. Small part of the cardstock, small part of the die. Big start part of the cardstock, I'm sorry, big part of the die, big part of the cardstock. That's all you have to remember. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and we're gonna hold it down and I'm gonna score just like that. Now keep in mind, my cutting pad's below me. I usually do this in my machine, but I'm moving my cutting pad over so you can see. So I've scored it right there. Now I'm going to fold on that line and then I'm gonna really use my bone folder to make sure it's nice and folded. Now, you guys all know about the fold now, right? We talk about the fold a lot with our fold it cards. Now what I'm gonna do, I'll exaggerate it at first but I want that fold line to go right on the inside. So I'm gonna lay that down right there. So it's right on the inside. You can barely see. Now, because I'm gonna move this over, normally I wouldn't do this, but because I'm gonna move it over to my machine, normally I would do it in my machine. But I'm just going to add a little bit of tape right there just to hold it in place, okay? Only because I'm moving it to show you guys. So I'm gonna lay it in my machine and I'm going to grab my other cutting pad which is non-existent at this time. Oh, there it is. Okay, and we're gonna run that through. Easy peasy. So we're getting ready for the June HSN. Um, I don't even know what day it is. I think somebody said the 8th. And uh, we're getting all the samples shipped to them. It I will be staying home and doing it via Skype again. I just found out yesterday. So now what we have here is we have our, can I, got a little icky on there, but that's okay. What we have here is we have our card, but we have this extra funky donkey looking piece, right? And so what we're gonna, here you can see the funky donkey. See how it's like all kind of weird and you see that my little cutout right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors 
And on the score line, we are just going to trim to the center, straight up like that, okay? We're gonna turn it and do the exact same thing on this side. Boom, that's it, that's it. That's, this is trash, that's trash. And now what we're going to do is we are going to cut our layering pieces. So we're going to find some papers. We need three large and one small. So we're going to grab that. We're going to grab that. And now we get to decide. Now you guys are going to get to decide. Now we're, you guys are going to vote, so get ready. Are we going to do on the front? Do we do pink panel on the front or green panels on the front? You guys get to pick pink or green. Okay, so Kenny, you're gonna have to follow the things. Do we want pink or green? Actually, I should die cut them so we can see. Hang on, let me, let me, you guys can start voting, but I'm gonna die cut them so you can really see what they're gonna look like, okay? Because it's better when you can really see. So I'm gonna go die cut these. And I'm gonna lay those down. Now I have dots on here, so I need to kind of pay attention to where my, my dies are. And I'm lining them up a little bit and I'm gonna put it at an angle. So pink or green or both, you guys could vote both. You could vote both, cause I'm cutting them both out. Are they voting, Kenny? Okay, Kenny says you're voting. Oh, he says it's pretty close. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna show you what they look like. So if you're like undecided, Okay, so we have, hang on, I'm gonna flip, flip this. Okay, so here's pink. We're not gonna open it right now, but there's pink with the yellow. There's pink, ready? Here's the green. There's the green. Or one of each. So you could say both, that's faster to say, both. So pink, green, or both. And we're going pink, green, green, pink, pink, Green, green, green. Oh, you guys aren't saying both. What? Can, green. What? I think green is. Ken thinks I green's think winning. Green. Both, but whoa, now it's going fast. Oh, a lot of green's winning. Okay, you guys, still green, Sheree says. Okay, let's see, green, green. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm seeing oh, a lot of boths now. Okay, we'll go green, we're gonna go green. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these and we're gonna add adhesive to these. And where's my adhesive? Oh wait, where did I? Oh, here it is. Oh, the adhesive is back in stock, my friends. Just a heads up. The adhesive. So on your next order, you can order adhesive. It's back on in stock. So I'm gonna lay this down right there, and I'm going to lay this one down. And that one's out of stock because it's dead now. Ugh. What is that? It's like the end icky. Throw that away. Get another one. Oh, I don't have any I like in here. Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna use this one. I do not like this one, don't use it. Okay, so we're gonna lay this down. We're gonna drop this down right there. Now, we are going to have to decorate the inside, but this is where I'm gonna be writing, my friends. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to use solid green, okay? I am going to die cut two solid green like this so I can write because I want to be able to write. Now, because this is not a score line, I can die cut two. So I'm going to trim my paper. Well, I didn't need to trim my paper. I don't know why I did that. I just needed to fold my paper. So I'm going to fold it. Doesn't have to be a good fold because I'm just going to run this through the die cut machine run it through once, but I'm going to get two. So I'm going to lay that down and I'm going to run this. Did I say my babies were coming over today? I know I did, but I have to remind you. Okay, so I'm going to run this through. Now, Liam is now ten, a little over 10 pounds, which is amazing. Isn't that awesome? And Carter, I'm Carter. I always want to call the kid Carter. He looks like Carter. That's why Miller looks like Carter, my nephew. He really does. But Miller, it can shake in his head, no. Miller is a little under 10. Now, what we have here is we have two of these. One, let's switch. One is going to go right here. Now why I chose green is because when it's open, you're gonna see the green, okay? And then this one we're gonna, normally you would do it like this, but this one we're gonna flip this way because it needs to be the opposite, right? So we're gonna add adhesive here. 
some likes and some shares. Oh, please, Ken wants me to remind you to do likes and shares, please, my friends. Please make sure you do likes and shares because that helps us. So now I have my card. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold it. Never, ever, ever decorate the center until you have folded it. Why? Because you'll accidentally decorate the wrong side. It happens to me all the time. Wait to fold it. Fold it first, then decorate the centers. So we're going to, here's my card. We're going to fold it in the air. You guys have all heard me say this over and over again. You want a big bottom, little top. You want to fold it in half towards you so the corners line up. Take that top flap and fold it up and then turn it to the left. The little side is always on the left. There's our flip it, but wait for it, wait for it. Dun, dun, da, da. Now I can write my thank you message. See, there's the flip it and I can write my thank you message. That's why I did the cardstock. Cookie, what are you doing? That's why I did the cardstock so I can write. So, so Doug and um, Lori can see what I wrote. So now what I have is I have a blank card front, right? Now I get to decorate it. And that's where my cut it up pad is gonna come in. Now these extra pieces, remember I cut these extra pieces. So what I'm gonna do is those are just gonna go in my envelope for later. And I'm going to grab out the flowers. Now I, it looks like I have two sets in here. So my friends, you might not have as many of these flowers as I have because um, I have two sets. And so let's see, so I'm gonna grab that one. And sometimes I don't have two sets, I have half of set. So you never know what I'm gonna have. Okay, so let's use some of these and let's figure out what we're doing here. So on the front, I wanna do flowers and on the inside, I'm gonna stamp thanks. Um, so let's see, so th not those flowers, not those flowers, not that one, not that one. Okay, so this one, I'm thinking I'm going to die cut probably a couple of these just to see what they look like. So I'm going to peel this up and I'm going to die cut the pink and the Yurok green and ooh, that would be fun to kind of cut like that. Ooh, let's look at that. That does, does that line up? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to die cut a couple of these. So let's die cut those. So I'm going to die cut those three first, okay? Now, I am bringing this over here and I am going to see if it's going to line up. Perfect. So any questions, Kenny, while I'm, while I'm lining this up to cut? Da, na, na, na. How is Cookie doing? How is Cookie doing? Well, my friends, if you watch my No Makeup Monday, she is on medication. They gave her Xanax. Um, we did only start with one because I'm a little concerned, but... Uh, um, hang on. Thinking, sorry. But... How do you think she's doing, Ken? She went to the office on Tuesday. It's cookie. It's cookie. And she's not doing... She's just not a normal dog. But we love her. So that's the good news. We love her. It's not like we're going to like drop her off somewhere, even though we've thought, no, I'm kidding, we haven't thought about it. So what I'm doing, sorry, my friends, I'm cutting out flowers. Um, but I think she's doing better. I think we're gonna, we got it. oh, I just moved them all because I was talking. Um, we're working on figuring out the dosage of her medicine, and it doesn't help because he also said she has an eye infection, which, I don't know if she really did. But we have the medicine, so we're giving it to her just to make sure. I don't wanna not give it to her if he says she does. I mean, he's the, he's the vet, so. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. I, so the answer to your question, I don't know. That was a dumb answer. But that, I mean, it was a good question, but my answer wasn't good. Because I just don't know how she's doing. After today, I'll know more because we're gonna give her her medicine right before they get here. And then we're gonna see if she's a little better. Uh, okay, so let's switch this. Okay, so now my friends, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. So I have that one, and it moved a little bit, but you know what? Doug and Lori aren't going to care because they don't know. And ooh, now the cool thing about this die is you also get the white flower inside. So this came out of there, which is cool, and this one is there. So I kind of need a, now I feel like I need a yellow. Ooh, I want this yellow. So I'm gonna grab this yellow. 
Kenny, were you going to say something? Yeah, tell them the 25th video got posted by accident. So oh. Those items aren't. Oh, Kenny said the 25th, the video for the 25th got posted on accident. So if you saw a video that had new stuff in it, it was just like a couple little things, yeah, right? Dies. A couple little dies, the love you dies. Those are not available till the 25th. Sorry about that, my friends. Um, every once in a while, we mess up and it got posted on accident. Okay, oh, you know what I also wanna do really quick is I'm also going to add a circle and I want this in, let's see. Oh, see, oh, here's a good tip. So I die cut a whole bunch of those already, right? And then I'm like, oh, well, I want this in guava. Well, yeah, I could go find my scraps, which, you know, you never know where those are gonna be, right? Which I should have put adhesive on the back of all of those. Oh, bite me. Why didn't I do that? Ugh, busy yakking. Turn it, okay, but I could use this right there, but I only need one. But look, my friends, guava on the back. So I'm gonna pick a flower that I really don't like as much, and I'm like, okay, well, that's my least favorite. So I'm gonna put that dye right there, and I'm gonna get a guava, what I need. So we're gonna lay that down without using a whole sheet of cardstock, which is nice, because I am not organized enough to have a regular scrap pile. I do have my scraps that have the adhesive on the back, which I should have put adhesive on the back of all of those. And the adhesive is back in stock, okay? Just so you know. Okay, so add, just add it to your next order. You don't need to add it separate. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of these guys together. And we're, oh, first, oh, sorry, take that back. First, I want to die cut, th I mean, stamp on here, thank you. And I am a little concerned that my thanks does not fit. Poopy. Ah, oh, that's the one I planned on using, and I didn't pull any others. Mm, uh, and I only have this one little thing. Chances are, Ken, this is not good. Um, oh, that would be cute. Okay, we're gonna use, do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use my stamp set. It's called Phrases for Stephanie, because I, I designed this one because I thought it'd be really cool. And I'm going to pull this out, and I'm gonna pull the little, little thanks. It's in handwriting. Oh, this one, this one's older, it doesn't smell as good. And we're going to get a block. Now you wanna use, since it's a small stamp, a smaller block. Ooh, Kenny, will you take the ickies off of that one? Cause I wanna use that block. So when you get the blocks, if you ever buy blocks from us, they come with this brown paper on them. And it, that's okay, that's just so they don't get scratched in shipping and you're gonna peel that off. So Ken's peeling that off, but I like the circle ones, they're fun. Now, I'm going to drop that on there so I have my little thanks and now I need ink. Uh, guava, well no, I'm on guava, so I better use black just to make sure it shows up. So we'll use licorice. And let's switch so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna stamp that, tap, tap, tap. Now, I don't know if I've used this one before, so I'm just gonna find some scratch paper. I honestly, even if I have used them before, I always like to stamp on scratch, just to make sure that it's looking good. So I'm gonna stamp that, and I'm gonna put this a little bit up higher. I'm not centering it, because I wanna put some flowers below it. So I'm stamping that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then, I'm kind of thinking I really want to see if this will fit. Oh darn, that won't fit. But isn't that pretty? I love how you do. I always wanted to do this in one color and then this on top of that in another color, but it won't fit on this card, so bummer. Okay, now I'm gonna put this one back because afterwards I'll forget. Okay, there, thank you, Ken, he, he did that. So look how cute that block is. See, it's a circle. Okay, so what we're gonna do but now I don't need it. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're going to add our thanks, and I'm gonna get some adhesive. So we're gonna add our thanks right there. Dun, 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 dun. And now you guys are gonna help me decide what to do on the front. Honestly, I kinda think I need a die cut one out first, and I feel like this one's bigger. Yeah, this one's bigger. I don't know, you guys, this might be a different set. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna use this one. And okay, my friends, you get to decide. Well, let's cut it out first. Hang on, hang on, don't say anything yet. Don't say anything yet, hang on. I'm gonna find guava, whoops, that's lavender. Pixie, where's my guava paper? Not this whole sheet, we're not using that. Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna use my guava and I'm gonna pick a flower I don't like as much and I'm gonna use that right there and I'm gonna die cut both of these and you're gonna pick 
which color, okay? So get ready, my friends. I'm gonna do some more voting here. So we're gonna get a turtle die folded coming out. Ken said somebody asked if there's gonna be a turtle fold it. Well, the plan was no, but I've seen that request a lot. And you know how much I love my Yubi, so I guess we're gonna to have to do that, my friends. See, I do listen to you guys, and so I think the answer to that question is now yes. But Ken or Dina's gonna to have to remind me and send me an email. It's just a really slow process. It is just a really slow process. It's a turtle. Because it's a turtle, Ken said. A tortoise. It's a tortoise. Ken knows the difference between a turtle and a tortoise, just so you know. It is a tortie. It's a tortoise. But uh, yeah, that's Can no pun intended. Am I allowed to say anything about HSN coming up in June? Am I allowed to say anything about HSN coming up in June? Not yet. I think June 1st I'm allowed to. Okay, so now you guys, my friends, you get to decide. Ready? So I'm going to add some flowers. I'm going to add some flowers to this, but you guys got to decide. Sorry, this is like real. Oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong one. I was looking at the wrong one. Okay, so do you want green front and then flowers on top? Or do you want pink front with flowers on top? Okay, green or pink? Green or pink? So green, dun dun dun, dun with like, okay, so like, let me show a flower so you can kind of get the idea with a pink on there or that with green on the front. And then that one's gonna have to have another one because that looks weird, so like that. Okay, so pink background or green background? Okay, oh wow, lots of greens. Uh, green, green, pink. Okay, so green background, whoa, it's going so fast. Mm -hmm. Pink, oh, I'm seeing a lot of pinks. Green, oh my gosh, you guys, I can't tell the difference. Connie's smart and she said guava. Look at you, you know the difference, uh, you know pink. Okay, Kenny, you're gonna have to pick because I can't tell. Okay, Ken's watching. Keep vote. You can vote more than once. Keep voting your favorite. Just vote, vote, vote. Ken's gonna pick. Da -na -na. Where'd my die pick go? Okay, Ken, what's the answer? I think it's a tie. Oh, shut up! It can't be a tie. Kenny, it can't be a tie. You have okay, to pick well, one. I'm gonna guess pink. Okay, Kenny's gonna say this is pink. Not official. This is not official, he says. <laughs> We're going to put a microphone on you because you are kind of funny sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Lots of times, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the pink and we're going to find adhesive. There it is. And we're going to add, now it's still going. I'm seeing a lot of pinks now. So we're going to add that pink right there. And then we're going to add the green. And I, oh, I suck um, because I did not add adhesive. So, whoops. Oh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I have it, I have, this is the back, and what I'm doing is I have scrap paper underneath me because I'm going to add adhesive to this on the scrap paper because this is a nightmare and I messed up and did not add adhesive on the back. Okay, so no one more. So I'm gonna add some adhesive to this and we're gonna add that right there. Look how cute this is. Okay, now we need something in the center and I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that. Ooh, so we could do it centered or we could do it off. I like it kind of off, like that, um, or like that. Well, hang on, because I also want to add some sparkles. So I have my bucket of sparkles. You can do a favor and what? see if your um, sound is on. He said to check to see if my sound is on. What? A little switch. My switch? Sure. Yeah, it says on. Is it not, you don't like the sound as much as normal? Um, is my thing okay? Is it like funky? Okay, he's double checking some. Okay, so do I want to add, oh, I love these mirror ones. We gotta do more of the mirror ones. I love the mirror ones. But I love these, let's see. Oh my gosh. The guava. Okay, hang on, you guys. So you guys got to help me pick. So do we want to do... Okay, so we could do the green flower there. See that green one? That could go there, right? So green. Can they see it? Is it good enough to see? I'm going to hold it up. Okay, so do you want that green flower on there? See that in the center? The green flower. Or... Dun-dun-na-na. dun dun na na The pink center. Pink center or green center? You guys decide. 
Pink or green? Pink or green? Pink or green? Okay, so are they going to start voting? Are they voting? Pink or green? There's the pink and there's the green. Okay, so it takes a second. There we're voting. Pink, green. Pink so far. Pink so far. Good. I was hoping you would say that. Oh my gosh, it's almost all pink. Okay, pinks went in, my friends. It was almost all pink what I saw. So I'm going to add that little pink right there. But we still need a little something something here. And so what I'm thinking we're going to do is we are going to add, let's see. Uh, we're going to add this. And I'm going to, I really kind of want to pop this up just to add some more excitement. So I'm using our adhesive um, foam sheets. And the nice thing about these is you literally cut them to whatever. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'll make this easier on myself completely. What we're going to do is we are going to, to make this really easy, I want this to be guava. And what we're going to do is we are going to take this, check this out, my friends. We're going to take, this is the flower I want. Look at this. Watch this. I almost feel like I'm being a little tricky because this is awesome. Now, my friends, you could also use that. Look at that. You could take that cut out and die cut it. Maybe not this circle, but a different circle. Or die cut it and just cut it in a square and you could still use that. That's cute. So here I've cut it out, just fake, fake cut it out. And I'm going to add it to my adhesive foam. Hang on, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to add that to my adhesive foam. No, let's do it this way. I want to cut this first. So I'm going to die. I'm going to cut this because I don't want it to get all over. Okay. Now I just have, this is adhesive foam. I'm going to peel off the back of this one, just one side. And I'm going to add this to the top. I don't think I've ever done this before on here. And now I'm going to press that down. Now I don't want any of that extra sticky to show when I run it through the die cut machine because I'm going to die cut this. So I'm just going to trim off all the extra pieces because I don't want it to um, get, oh, poopy. I don't want it to get on my die cut machine or on my pattern paper, I mean on my cutting pad. Okay, so now look, now it's got adhesive on the back, foam in the center, and my little flower. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to now die cut it. Look at this, my friends. I'm going to die cut this. And I do not want it to move in the machine and it will because it's foam. So I'm going to take some washi tape, but I don't want it to be strong washi tapes. Don't put it on here. Don't put it on your secret weapon. Put it on your clothes. I put it on my clothes too sometimes, but it, that makes it not as strong, your washi tape. And we're going to line that up and we're going to add adhesive to that. And we're going to peel that up and get it not so gummy. The guitar yeah. dies sell out. Did the guitar die sell out? That's close. It's close. I don't know. Kenny, you'll have to look. I don't know. So now I'm going to die cut this, okay? So I'm going to run this through my machine. Now, when you die cut the foam, it's going to squish it a little bit, but it will, when it wants to be able to breathe, it will pop back up, okay? So don't worry. Don't go, oh my gosh, it's a pancake now. No, it'll, it'll get better. Don't worry. Oh, we only have 10 of the guitars left, Kenny said. Of the dies or the stamps? Dice. Of the dies. We've ordered more already, but it's 30 days out, pretty much. So now I'm peeling this up, peeling this up. Dina just texted me, hang on, oh, okay. And now what I have, dun, 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 look my friends, check this out. So now because I was extra careful on this, I have a perfect cutout, but look at this, my friends, look. This is in there too, and I gotta peel that out. Peel that out. Hang on, take the take this paper off. Okay. Peel it out. Now I have two pieces that are both foamy. And they're kind of sticking together because they wanna. It's all die cut, don't worry. But it's like wanting to stay in there. Hang on, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I wanna be gentle. Okay, there it is. Look. Da! But it, oh hang on, you can't see. But look, it's all on foam. Now these are both foamy pieces. So much better and more exciting. You can see kind of, this is a flower, both flowers, but look, 
Look at the difference in thickness. This one is a nice thickness. And so we're gonna add this one right here, my friends, check that out. Now, this one is also foamy, and I'm thinking we don't wanna put it inside there because then it'll just look kind of flat. I want to layer it so it's gonna pop up, right, like that. Look at that, so it's gonna be laying on that one flower. Hang on, I gotta get my head in the way because it's a little crooked, okay. So I'm gonna lay that right there and line up all the little legs because you don't they kind of go everywhere look at that oh my gosh that's whoops that one didn't that one there look how fun that is now look i want to show you that would have been a cute center too i could have made that the center also but look how cute that is now we need to add another gem and i'm kind of thinking do we do another oh we only have one pink left that's a problem how oh no i don't oh i was gonna say Oh, almost the same. Okay, so do we do, oh, sorry, wrong camera. Okay, so I'm thinking another pink. Okay, you guys have to help me. Another pink, I'm thinking yes, but then that means we only have two, and then that means we have to add another one, so that's kind of not good. <sighs> or something else, hang on, let me see if there's something else over here. So you guys can see it, oh, where's the mirrors? I love my mirrors, where'd the mirrors go? Maybe we do a little bit less and we just do like a little mirror on the inside. Then what we can do is we can decorate a couple little extra ones over here or like one down here, two down here and one up there so we can do more odds. So do we want mirrors or do we want another pink? You guys decide, mirror or pink? Extra mirrors or one pink? A green, yellow? <laughs> no, no green or yellow. Green and yellow are dead to me. No, pink, I want pink or mirror. Pink or mirror, my friends. Pink or mirror, pink or mirror, mirror. Red, red, pink or mirror. Uh, I would love a computer folded card. Oh, okay, pink, mirrors, yellow, one yellow would be good. I don't have yellow. Mirror, mirror. okay, you guys, mirror wins. <laughs> Mirror wins, I'm, I'm doing the tiebreaker. So what I'm gonna, oh here, I'll do this again. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add the mirror here into the center, okay? So it's a little bit smaller than the pink and then I'm gonna add a couple little ones on the sides so we can get our, ooh, so we can get our threes in. So there, whoops, oh where'd it go? Crud, where'd it go? So we got one there. Oh my gosh, these mirrors are awesome. We gotta get more of these. And there's another one. This came in a, one of our kits at one time, my friends. So if you're wondering where I got this, we have lots of awesome embellishments. And the and kit club has been selling out, my friends. Oh, if you ever want stuff out of the kit club, you've got to be in the club. Otherwise, you're not going to get it. And my friends, look at that. Look how those cute little mirrors all coordinate. So now I have one, two, three, four, five. You always want to do um, odd numbers. So now I have five. One, two, three, four, five. So now it kind of makes it more cohesive. Now I'm thinking to finish this off, we need two more things. We need a piece of ribbon over here and we need my, per my personalized stamp on the back. Uh, let's do the personalized first. And what's this one say? Made with love by Stephanie. And I'm going to find a pink ink, pink ink, pink ink, pink ink, strawberry, cherry, oh, cherry. We'll use cherry because we don't want it to be too bright. And we're gonna ink that up and we're gonna stamp that right there so they know I made it. So I get, um, that was a dirty stamp, so it's kind of a little messed up, but that's okay. And now we are going to add a little bit of ribbon. So, uh, let's see. Of course I'm using seam binding because seam binding is my absolute, hang on, switch camera. Seam binding is my absolute favorite and I know you guys are gonna ask, so I'm gonna tell you this is the Edna bag. Oh, and I talked to Tiff the other day. Oh, I forgot to tell you. <sighs> Tiffany informed me that a something special is coming. Uh, something kind of special is coming that uh, might have my name on it, but it's exclusive to us in a special way. In June. That's all I can say. I don't even have one. Let me tell you, I don't even have one yet. But Tiffany did this especially for me, and I'm so excited. 
I don't even have one yet, my friends, but it's gonna have my name on it. That's see, that's what you that's what happens when your best friend makes stuff. You get to have your name on stuff. Okay, so we get to decide what color um card stock i mean what color ribbon we're gonna do and why is this cherry almost looking like no that doesn't match okay i was gonna say that cherry should not be matching because it's guava but i don't have guava oh here here's guava so we could do guava and uh, or we could do kiwi and we don't want to do lemonade okay what personalized stamps how long do they take how long are personalized stamps taking uh less than five weeks right now my friends now of course that can change if you all order one right now then we're in trouble but uh right oh something just fell um what just fell i don't know um personalized stamps right now are taking oh wait what camera am i on personalized stamps are taking about five weeks right now a little less a little less but uh, I would estimate five weeks by the time you get it and everything. Um, because remember, we have to, I have, it has to be made in the computer and then it goes to the factory and then they have to make it and then they have to ship it to us and then we have to package it and then ship it to you. And just making the stamp itself is a good, what, 10 days from start to finish usually? Roughly, minimum, minimum, if it gets on the machine right away. If it doesn't get on the machines right away, then you never know. Hang on. Is your new bag going to be Stephanie or Steph? Is my new bag going to be Stephanie or Steph? Good question. What does Tiff call me? I know what the answer is, but what does Tiff call me? She calls me Stephanie. Only my kids call me Steph. Um, and my, well, my brother does. Brandon does. Oh, I think of somebody, I just thought of somebody else that used to call me Steph. Does my, my mom does. You know who else used to call me Steph? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> uh, let's see. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to decide uh, what color ribbon. It, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't answer your question. It's going to say Stephanie. It's going to be Stephanie. Is there going to be a stamp set for Tiffany? Good question. Is there going to be a stamp set for Tiff? There kind of should be now, huh? I should ask her what she wants a stamp of. That would be only fair, my friends, right? If we meet a stamp set for Tiffany, yes, we have to ask her what she wants. Okay, so what we're gonna do, that'd be so cute. I love that idea. Whose idea was that? Did you remember? Carol Pope. Carol, Carol Pope's idea. Okay, so what color, oh, I'm gonna switch this. This is the last voting item, last voting item. Do we want green uh, ribbon or pink ribbon? Green or pink? And I'm gonna just do a little tie right here. So you get to pick, and I know that, see, I'm on my, just so you guys know, on my computer screen for the iPad that you guys see, the pink doesn't look very good, but I assure you it's way prettier in person. So the pink or the green for the little tie right there? Pink or green? Oh, somebody said both. Oh, a couple of people are saying both. That could be an option. Okay, now the chats are going. Pink, pink, pink. Seen lots of pink. Um, pink, both. Mm. Try both. Uh, pink, pink. Okay, I'm thinking pink's winning, don't you think, Kenny? Mm -hmm. Okay, so pink's winning. So what we're going to do, we'll cut this. Oh, first don't cut it. And we're going to tie a little bow. Tomorrow, Kenny and I are going to the office and we're taping all the videos for next week, next month. And we're going to tie that and I'm going to trim it now because I don't want to have to worry about it. And we're going to tie this. A lot of both. What? Oh, a lot of boats. Okay. Kenny's saying there's a lot of both. I'll add, I'll add another one and I'm going to trim this. Now these scissors, my friends, if you don't buy these scissors on our website, get little scissors. I don't care where you get them, but get little scissors for the ribbon. Do not, I have learned, do not try to use these monsters. They don't, for some reason, they don't work. Okay, so we're gonna trim there, and then we're gonna add green too, because everybody, a lot of Kenny's saying a lot of people are voting both, and so we're gonna add this. I could sit here and talk all day. Okay, and we're gonna and Ken's all yeah, I know. <laughs> Can you imagine poor Ken? Every once in a while, I feel bad for him, cause I'm like, gosh, I do talk a lot. Okay. And we're going to lay this down and we're going to lay this down. 
But you want to know something funny? This is way too much information. I'm sorry, Ken. I'll apologize ahead of time. But um, a long time ago, we went to our pastor for um, like marriage, a marriage refresh. Is that a good way to say it? He's like shaking his head. He's all, why are you talking about this? Counseling, marriage counseling. <laughs> it was a couple of years ago, right? Every once in a while, you just need a little kick in the butt, both of us. And the one thing the pastor said, the, my favorite thing that he said, do you know what it is, Kenny? Is whenever I say something, Ken must respond. Remember that? Ken's shaking his head going, yes. So it's called a bid. When a woman says something to her husband like, oh, look, the sky is really blue today. The husband it needs to accept that bid and acknowledge it by saying, you're right, it is a very nice blue out there. Or he's not allowed to say, uh-huh. Nope, that bid's not allowed. You have to be, there's two versions you could say. You could say, yes, you are absolutely right. Or you could say, oh, that blue is very pretty. I really like that and say something like that. But every time I say something, he's, I, that's putting a bid out there, meaning Ken needs to respond. And let me tell you, <laughs> he does a pretty good job. But I kind of feel bad sometimes because I do talk a lot. Right, Kenny? So, you know, he's just shaking his head, but that's not, oh, and shaking your head is not an official bid. That's not a, a yes, correct, you do. thank you. So he said, yes, you do. See, that's, that's a, a thing. It really is a thing. It's like a thing. I don't know where he didn't make my, our pastor didn't make that up. It was like, a, it's a real thing. So just saying, okay, so I'm going to um, add this and I cut the greens a little bit shorter so you could kind of see. But now, my friends, look at this. Look at this. And I'll do a close up too. But there it is. Doug and Lori are going to love it. There's my flip it. And then open it up. And now I'm going to write my thank you note and say thank you and tell them how awesome they are. But look at how cute that is. Now, here's this tip because right now I'm thinking, no offense, my friends, I don't have that much to fill all this up word wise, right? I'm like going, <gasps> what am I going to say? The sky is blue outside today, right? So what I think I will probably end up doing, switching this out just a little bit by, watch this, my friends, by on one, well, this side, I'm probably going to, on one of these sides, put the pattern and then just write on one of these, pat on one of these panels. That way I don't get writer's cramp and I mean, I don't have enough to say for all of this. So I'm going to write my message on one side and cover the other side with um, pattern paper. So I could just write, I could just do that and then do my, my message over here. So then it's still hidden, but I don't have to write too much. <laughs> Sorry, but it's true. So let me show you a close up. So here we have our cute little card. So we have our one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five diamonds. We have our cute little ribbons and it does look cute with both. My friends, you did a good job with that, both. I like that. And then we're gonna open it up. And then it has my, oh, I was gonna add something right there. Pooey, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just gonna find, oh gosh, oh gosh. I was really gonna add something there. Hang on, hang on, we're gonna find something else. Um, ooh, oh, that doesn't really match. Oh, pooey, hang on. Um. I could do a little mere heart. Okay, so I'm thinking, okay, hang on. Oh. Ooh, what about that? Oh, I'm just gonna add that. Look how cute that is. So always save all your extras, my friends, because look at that, I just found that. Okay, so we're gonna drop this. We're gonna get a little bit of adhesive. Normally I would use liquid adhesive on this, but in the effort of time, I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna add that right there. Okay, so now we have open it up, thanks, and then open it up, and then I can write my message and put another pattern paper on one of those sides. Flip it over, and we have Made with Love by Stephanie. Now, your per if you order a personalized stamp or you already have, your personalized stamp can say anything you want as long as it's not a bad word. No bad words. If you wanna do something in another language, you can, but Ken is gonna Google Translate it to make sure it's not a bad word. Just saying. But look at that, my friends. Isn't that cute? Doug and Lori are going to love it. It's awesome. Um, are there any questions that I can answer? Sneak peeks. Are we saving those for next week? We don't have, I don't have any sneak peeks today. I don't have any for sneak sure peeks. I'm sorry. Week, for sure. For yes, for sure. We will have um, a sneak peek next Thursday. And Monday is a holiday. Are you still oh, doing? Monday is a holiday. Are you, are you staying home that day, Kenny? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, maybe we'll do a No Makeup Monday. Maybe I can get Ken to do a video. Will you do it with me and then we can do a question and answers? With makeup? <laughs> You're lucky we're on camera. I would flip you off right now. He said, are you gonna wear makeup? No, I'm not gonna wear makeup. That's the whole shtick. But I, maybe Kenny and I should do a, a No Makeup Monday together where it's a question and answers and you can ask us questions. That would be really fun. We've never done that before, Kenny. Mm -hmm. Maybe we will. Maybe. Maybe. If I pay you. <laughs> You're such a dork. <laughs> okay. Are there any questions? Um, oh, Shirley said I could do a Tiffany doll. That would be cute. Um, don't for, oh, Victoria, thank you for the reminder. Victoria says, don't forget to hit um, the like button and make sure you click the subscribe button on YouTube. These videos on Thursdays are only available live on YouTube. Later, you'll be able to watch it on Facebook because we upload it to Facebook. But if you want to watch live, you need to subscribe to the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, and that way you'll get a little notification saying, hey, Stephanie's going live. Do you want to watch? And then you can decide yes or no if you want to. But I definitely recommend, and whenever we post a new video you'll get a re you'll get a notification so you can go watch the new video so make sure you're subscribing to our channel make sure you're giving it a thumbs up please I only see 71 thumbs ups and I'm really offended how many are do you have show Kenny I don't know but there was a thumbs down and it disappeared there was a thumbs down and it disappeared that means somebody accidentally clicked it thank you for fixing that my friends whoever did that thank you I appreciate that um, Lori story said keep the fold it's coming Lori tell tell Michaela I said hi I miss you guys um let's see oh peanut and Chester says say hi to me hi peanut and Chester are those your doggy names oh you know what I just heard a noise does that mean somebody's here I can't say hang on I'm, we're gonna track my kids to see if they're on their way here because I'm hearing noise down there could be a lemon attack I think they're here. They're here. They're here. The girl. Okay. Well, I need to go. But thank you, my loves. Thank you for your love, your support, and your prayers. I'm going to go visit with my babies now and give them extra love, and I will give them all a hug from all of you. And we will see you Monday. Ken is going to do a question and answer with me, and I am so excited. I will see you all soon on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend, and stay safe. Mwah. I love you. Bye.